So health sounds simple. Just keep your fractal branching networks open where energy and information can flow freely. So what's the problem? The problem is we don't. <laughs> In fact, considering four of the five leading causes of death are due to these fractal branching networks getting sort of dammed up. I tell people your health is damned, you know, when you when these fractal branching networks, but it's damned with two M's because they get blocked or dammed up. Let's just go through all five and look at diseases that can result because of blockages or a damming of these fractal branching networks. Number one is blood vessels. So heart disease is the number one cause of death. Stroke is the number five cause of death. Both related to blockages mainly in the fractal branching network of your circulatory system. Number two, lungs, emphysema, COPD, which is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. That's related to the number three cause of death in the U.S. Okay, again, due to blockages or a breakdown in this fractal branching network. In fact, if you look at scans of people that have um, these, these um, COPD, different uh, pulmonary diseases, you can see this fractal branching network basically just broken down. It's just not, you know, all the alveoli just aren't able to get oxygen. Nervous system, paralysis, neuropathy. Think of all the diseases related to the nervous system sort of breaking down. The lymphatic system, this is where your immune system resides. So number two cause of death is cancer. And pretty much everybody with cancer has very stagnant lymph. And their immunity is very low. Their immune count could get down to just single digits even. That's number two cause of death. And the living matrix is the home of the meridian. So as we know, meridian energy blockages can be related to all these other diseases as well. So that's four of the five leading causes of death are due to blockages or breakdowns in these networks. The only other cause of death that's not there is accidents. Of course, accidents are just accidents. In a nutshell, PEMF therapy opens up your fractal branching network. Think of it like this. Health is like a river. Disease is like a swamp. So take a look at these images here. Look at the image of a swamp and a river. What's the difference? A swamp, there's no flow. Water is just stagnant and you get all this overgrowth of, of mold and fungus and it, the water becomes mucky. Certainly you can't drink it. Where when you got a, a living river where everything's flowing, the water is clean and pristine. What PMF therapy does is it turns your body more into like a, a mountain stream and it gets rid of all the swamps because this is a really good analogy because people with cancer and di different diseases, they have blockages in their fractal branching networks, which literally create pockets like cesspools where they got infection, toxicity. The body's just not able to get fluids in to get the toxins out. PMF is opening up all these networks 